Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Queenstown in New Zealand on the Southern Island and uh, we're taking a look at the brand new Inescene Queenstown Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The one we're looking at right now is the handcrafted Asobo version and we're going to take a direct look at the differences between them both. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe down below if you've not done so already. And as always, scenery is very subjective. So share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know what you prefer and why. So with the freeware Sobo handcrafted one that's already inside Microsoft Flight Simulator for possibly all if not most users depending on the edition that it was released with. You get some fairly nice texturing but it is very very basic. Uh, they're not going to give you loads for free airports like this but it is certainly adequate in the sense that uh, the terminal building looks fairly nice. But you can see through the glass, there's a lot to be desired. Uh, it certainly does um, give scope for a lot of improvement. You can see here the work done on the rest of the terminal building and the air traffic control tower, as well as the remainder of the very small apron here at Queenstown too. Moving land side then to the other side of the terminal building. It's just the same, it's fairly basic, quite bland looking. And having seen all of the terminal from both aspects, it is a small airport. We can go ahead and compare it with the brand new Inescene Queenstown International Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator, available now on the Inibuilds store. And here we are, the brand new Inescene's Queenstown Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. As they've described it, their most scenic in-house creation yet for the sim. It's been developed from the ground up with attention to detail spanning the land side ground markings, bus stops, cargo containers, vehicles, buildings, vegetation and more. And uh, it's actually the fourth busiest airport in New Zealand apparently, encompassed by beautiful scenery all around. Uh, making for some tricky approaches as well, including the uh, Arnav as well. They've handmade it from the ground up with uh, ground polygons, crisp bespoke texture sets runways, aprons, paths, roads, all ton, all textured and they've optimised it as best as possible to encourage the best possible performance out of our simulators and they've also ensured compatibility with those of you who might be using it Microsoft Flight Simulator on Xbox you can already see the huge difference between the default Sobo handmade version the handcrafted one that we just looked at at the beginning of the video and this handmade, handcrafted brand new version from any scene, any builds the ground textures are superb, really crisp, very well defined. Performance is really good as well from what I've noticed so far playing around with it prior to recording today's video. They've added a couple of static aircraft off in the distance around the sides of the apron and uh, they're not in an inconvenient place which is fantastic for those of us who like to use Vatsim when it's busy. But they've also included the uh, updated parts of the landscape around the airport too. And they've worked really hard to try and bring the entire environment of Queenstown Airport to life in the sim as well, which is very difficult to do. But with such beautiful scenery around, it's uh, certainly something that uh, should be done for an airport like this. And any scenes have done a fantastic job. Moving back to the departure zone. They've added in all the work walkways and we can also see in the terminal building the mezzanine level which was only added in I think 2015 uh, from a bit of internet research where Queenstown are hopefully in the future looking to add air bridges to uh, increase their capacity for bigger aircraft and uh, more international flights.
these scenes have also worked hard adding in a lot of the interior and creating some fantastic glass texturing as well. So uh, those of us who like taxiing in and seeing a little bit of the inside of the airport, that is all visible here in this Queenstown add-on. Switching to night time then and you can see that the detail within this New Zealand Queenstown Airport scenery from any scenes doesn't drop off at all. The lighting is absolutely pitch perfect and it's just the right amount for what you need in the sim. The landside areas are still really crisp and detailed off into the distance actually with fantastic lighting throughout the entire car park area. They've also gone to the effort of adding in a lot of life to the north of the airport as well. So the opposite side to where we are going to be at the terminal for our flight sim, we're still going to see the overall wider environment of the area as we depart, take off, taxi and any scene of that thought of that and they've added all of this uh, north side in as well. A couple of the hotels, supermarkets and they've added a little bit of life to the road as well. Really great bit of detail and a little bit of thought that's gone into this. Any scenes have gone to the next level with this and they've also added real world 1M mesh data and highly detailed 30 centimeter satellite imagery hand corrected and color blended into MSFS's Bing satellite data. So it's not only the airport that they focused on, it's the entire environment around the airport itself, making this a truly incredible experience for all of us. All in all, this is a beautiful package developed by Scenes. I can highly recommend it. I know scenery is really subjective and um, it depends on all of our own individual needs and uh, requirements from our own simulator experience, but this is absolutely stunning and well worth a, uh, a buy for all of you guys watching at home wherever you might be in the world. So there we go, Queenstown for Microsoft Flight Simulator by Inniscene. It's £10.99 British Pounds, available now on the Innie Build store. As I've said already, they've done a beautiful job. I can highly recommend it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you found the video enjoyable. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below and be sure to come and visit us when we go live in the very near future. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching.